Okay, hello dear friends, good evening. Such a, a beautiful and quiet night. And uh, it's a perfect time for story time so that uh, you can fall asleep. So, once upon a time, in the middle of the mountains, there was uh, a little village, and uh, the village was uh, beautiful and quiet, and people lived uh, a happy life. They never got uh, trouble, got problem, but suddenly there was something that made people's life very, very inconvenient. There were wild pigs invading the village. At the beginning, there was one wild pig, and then starting to get more and more, three, four, five, ten wild pigs. They destroy the crops, damage the plants, and... Uh, and uh, and scared of kids and even adults just uh, made uh, people's life miserable. And the villagers was uh, were not happy. They were they they thought they must uh, they must uh, take action and do something. So they thought and thought and thought and thought and finally they got an idea and uh, this idea is actually pretty simple because it was mountain and in mountain there were lions and uh, tigers and uh, they thought uh, lions and tigers they were the enemies of, uh, of the wild pig so they recorded some of uh, the lions and tigers' voice. And all these uh, sounds, uh, scary sounds, they recorded. And then put into a loudspeaker. They put into a, a recording and played through a loudspeaker and uh, set up the loudspeaker at the at the place where usually the wild pigs entered, uh, entered the village and uh, played it loudly. And it was scary. And the wild pig came to the village. Oh, tiger and, and lions. Oh, that's so scary. <laughs> the wild pigs run as fast as they go as fast as they could, Ooh, zoom, disappeared. The villagers were very happy. Gosh, we are so smart. We can, we, we are the best. Nobody can, can, can conquer us. We are the best. So they were thinking they were the best. And uh, the wild pigs, on the other hand, they went back. And uh, after a few days, they were hungry again. They need to get some, uh, some uh, food from the village. They need to damage and do bad things again. So they came back, and uh, the loudspeaker played again, and they were scared. They ran away. But this time, they ran, they ran a little bit slower. And then... A few days later, they came back again. They ran away again, and then and then a few days again, run again, came back again, run again. After a few times, the pigs found ooh, there were no tigers, there were no lions. What is going on here? So they became. After some time, they became, ooh, they became brave, and they became not caring about 
these noises. And they became even looking down on these noises. You know what? They knocked down the telephone pole and uh, the, the recording, poof, they damaged the recording. It doesn't work. And uh, then the villagers came back to those miserable days where they are afraid. They were afraid of the pigs and uh, their cops were damaged and uh, cr crops were damaged and, uh, and the life became miserable again. Hmm. So the moral of this story. I think uh, anybody can, can explain this story and uh, interpret uh, this story in their own way. There is no right way or wrong way. Use your time to think about this story and use your use this story as a, as a way of reflection your own thought that's the purpose of this story that is when you only talk big, talk empty, and talk and talk without action, without delivery, without real solution. Even pigs will not be fooled, will not be fooled around by empty words. You have a nice, peaceful, beautiful night. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do.